Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday morning. I still have so much to do. I have to make my bed. I just finished blow drying my hair. I took a shower, blow dried my hair, put on a little bit of makeup, and I was just about to film a video. I want to film a um, closet organization for Madison's room. Her closet is so unorganized and it's a mess. So I just want to clean it out, get it organized. I don't have to get rid of any clothes just because I did just get rid of clothes twice in the past few months. So I don't have to get rid of any clothes. I just need to organize it. But I just realized um, I don't have any olive oil, butter, and what was the third thing I need? I think I need toilet paper and like paper towels. So I need to run to the supermarket really fast because I want to put Madison down for a nap. I was planning on putting her down for a nap at like between 11 and 11.30. It's already 11 o'clock and I just want to run out to the store really fast. And then by the time I get back home, it'll probably be like 11.30 and then maybe I can get her down for a nap around 11.45 and she can take a nap because she isn't feeling very well. She's still in pajamas. I need to get her dressed. Um, so I just gave her some medicine. So we're going to run to the store really fast and then I will vlog when I get home see what we do for the day. It's another overcast and a gloomy day, so we'll see where the day takes us. the pretty girls ready to go Are you ready to go to the store now and you and your cute little outfit yeah i love your bow oh this is the shirt that she always tries to take off but we are now going to head out we're going to go to the supermarket get some gas and then get some stuff that we need for the house maybe pick up some lunch look at that big old belly look at that belly look at that belly you feeling better honey you feeling better all right, let's go, because I gotta get back home and put you down for a nap and clean up. <laughs> you feeling better? Okay, let's go. You were just smiling, now you're gonna play shy at the grocery store, you want a cookie? You wanna go get a cookie? Do you wanna get a cookie? Now, we walked in and she was so happy and now she's gonna act all shy. The good thing about coming to the grocery store early in the morning is that I get front row parking. But I'm about to grab some olive oil. When we first walked in, she was so happy. And she was like laughing for no reason, right? But I'm going to grab some olive oil. We also need butter, toilet paper, paper towels. Oh, now you're smiling again. Yeah. And then maybe I'll find something for me and Madison to eat for lunch. I could totally go to Chick-fil-A, but we've been eating way too much Chick-fil-A, right? Just grab some food. I can't find our olive oil we usually use. Let's see. Let me try this one. So my Kroger has, um, should I go Italian? Or this one. Has like their own Ning brand. I usually get that, but I think I'm gonna try a new one. Let's see. I don't 
know, it's so hard to pick out a new olive oil. I've tried new olive oils before and they've all just had like weird aftertaste. So I usually try to stick with the same one. My Kroger. I want them, they're so cute. They're white and like in gold. Those have pumpkins on it. Those back there say like autumn and gather thankful. Those are so cute. They even have wine glasses back there. Really cute. Maybe on Friday when I go grocery shopping, I'll grab a few. But we did get some olive oil, right? I decided just to go with the one I usually get, which is the Simple Truth Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Oh. Now we gotta get some butter, paper towels and toilet paper, and some lunch, and then we'll be heading out. Now in like the Halloween and fall section, I wanna show you guys. So I love making Rice Krispie Treats, like homemade Rice Krispie Treats. I don't like this Rice Krispie Treats um, brand when it's like pre-packaged. But this one actually comes with just like marshmallows, orange rice krispies, um, it comes with icing and like just like little stuff to make it. So I'm thinking about maybe getting this, I won't get it today, but I don't know if it's cheaper to get it like this. They are $6.99 also they have ghosts. So I don't know if it's cheaper to get it like this or just buy a big box of rice krispie treats that are orange and then buy marshmallows on your own. So I'm gonna look and see if they have orange rice krispie treats or Rice Krispie cereal, and then marshmallows, and maybe I'll just buy it like that. I think that's a really good idea. Are you getting cranky? Do you wanna go now? Do you wanna leave? But for me and Madison, I picked up um, some lunch. So we are going to share this Ever Roast Chicken Caesar Wrap. So she'll have one and then I'll have one. And then I also picked up for myself I haven't had a kombucha in a really long time, so picked up myself a ginger ale one. And then also, I'm gonna get, so I showed you guys when I did my nails, and I used a new glue. Um, I used to use like the gel glue, and I can't find the gel glue anywhere. I used the glue that came with my Kiss Nail Kit, and I don't know, I feel like it didn't work that well. I um, felt like they popped off sooner than when they usually, usually I can leave them on for almost two weeks, and I only had them on for like five days before the first one popped off. So I'm gonna try this one. I don't know how this one's going to work. This one's a brush on nail glue. So we'll see how that works. But I'm going to head out of the grocery store right now because Madison's starting to get cranky and I do want to record a little bit when I get home before I had to pick up Brian from school. But I'm like getting sucked into all of this really cute stuff here. And I think I showed you guys my previous vlog, but I'll show you again. These wax melts, you need to get this Tuscany candle wax melt. They smell amazing. All the candles are are gone and they barely have any more wax melts. But you have a Kroger, I'm telling you, you need to check them out. They have so many great scents. But anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm going to head out and I'll vlog once I get back home. Good night, sweetie. Have a good night, night, okay? When you wake up, you can eat something, okay? We are now back home and as you guys can see, Madison did fall asleep. She fell asleep in the car and so when I brought her in, I thought she was going to wake up, but she, since she's sick, she's just super tired. So she stayed sleeping. I laid her down. She opened her eyes for a minute. And then as soon as I walked out, she went right back to sleep. So she's just going to eat some lunch when she wakes up. It's still pretty early. It just made noon right now, but I'm going to eat half of this ever roast chicken Caesar wrap. And then I'm going to save her the other half for her lunch. And then I'm also going to drink a kombucha, a ginger ale one. Haven't had a kombucha in a really long time. I've been craving one. So that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. And I guess I'm not gonna clean out her closet right now. I want to film me like cleaning out and organizing her closet, but she's taking a nap, so that's not gonna happen. So maybe I'll just film a different video today. I think instead of doing her closet organization today, I think I'm going to film my fall must-haves video and upload that tomorrow. And then tomorrow I'll just film her closet organization. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna eat some lunch. I'm also going to try and do some nails. I told you guys um, the other glue I used didn't stay on that long. I think after five days and the first one fell off. Couldn't find the pink gel one that I usually use and that one is the best. That one literally stays on my nails for almost two weeks straight and I could not find that one. Maybe I'll have to go to Walmart or Target to find it. I did go to my grocery store so I just grabbed what they had. They had the glue that I already have so I didn't get that one obviously but I don't know, I found this one, so we're gonna try this. So maybe I'll film me and show you guys how I do my nails anytime I do the um, Kiss fake nails. So I'm gonna eat some lunch because I'm hungry and then I'll probably film a video and then do my nails. So see you in a minute. Okay guys, so I just finished filming my fall favorite slash fall must-haves. 
that should be up before this vlog. If it is, I will link it down below for you guys to check out. But now I have to clean up the mess. The mess isn't as bad as other times I've filmed, but I usually try to film like in my office area just because I usually try to have like a pretty or cute background. It doesn't always happen, but yeah, this is the mess that I am dealing with right now. So all the stuff is thrown on the floor. My tripod stand is right there. So I need to clean that up. I need to clean that up and then wake up Madison. She's not going to be too happy. It's already almost 1.30. And we usually leave between like 2.05, 2.10 to go pick up Brian from school. So maybe I'll let her sleep for another like 15 minutes maybe. Because I still have to feed her lunch. Because I know if I go pick up Brian from school before... um giving her some lunch because she fell asleep without eating lunch she will be crying the entire time we're waiting for him in carpool lane so i want to try to feed her some lunch before we go so she's gonna have to wake up in 15 minutes but i'm gonna clean this mess up and then wake up madison and go get ryan from school good morning i'm sorry i had to wake you up but we gotta go get brother we have to go get your brother from school she does not want to wake up she's starting to get a little warm again so I think the Tylenol's wearing off. I'm sorry, baby. We gotta get up and get your brother from school. She does not want to get up, you guys. She's so tired. I walked in and she was snoring. I'm sorry. We can get a quick bite to eat. And then we gotta get your brother, okay, honey? If you're still tired when we get back home, you can go back night-night, okay? Okay? Let's go. Somebody doesn't want to wake up. Oh, I'm gonna fall down the stairs trying to record. She's so tired, you guys. She doesn't want to wake up. Are you tired? Hmm. <laughs> she never wants to cuddle me, so you know she's sick when she wants to cuddle me. Hi, you want to say hi to everyone? We gotta go get brother. We gotta get something to eat really fast for you. Good morning. Sick mom, really? Why did you wake me up? Why did you wake you up? Are you happy now? You ready to go get your brother from school? All right, guys, I'm gonna get her something to eat really fast. I saved her the other half of that little um chicken wrap, so I'm gonna give her that for lunch, and then we're gonna head out and get Ryan from school. Please excuse my hair. I had to put it back because I was cleaning up. I was gonna record while I was cleaning up, but I just wanted to get it done really fast, so I did not record. So. I'm going to feed her, head out, and then, I don't know, I'm not sure what we're gonna do when we get back home. Probably just hang out at home. Cause mommy has a lot of other things to do, right? So we are now in carpool lane. Let me lower this music. We are in carpool lane. Be here for a while, I got here a little bit earlier. I have no clue what time all these people leave, but every day I leave just a little bit earlier, thinking that I'm going to be all the way in the front of the line, and it never happens, so. I'm thinking these people get here like an hour early because I am, it is almost 2.30 and they let the kids out like at between 2.45 and 2.50. And I refuse to get here any earlier than the time I am already here. So we're just gonna sit in the car and wait for Ryan. Usually I spend this time catching up on like YouTube videos or like replying to comments. And if I have any videos to edit, I'll spend like 20 minutes here just like trying to edit some videos. So. That is what I'm going to do while I wait for Ryan. I brought Madison a snack. She didn't finish all of the lunch that I gave her because we had to leave and she was getting a little cranky. So she finished half of it and then I brought her some string cheese and some yogurt to hold her over until we get back home and then see if she'll finish the rest of her lunch. So she just ate her string cheese. Was that delicious? Was it yummy? Are you ready for your yogurt now? Do you want yogurt? Yeah? So I'm going to give her some yogurt. I got her the little pouch for her. I always buy these pouches. Oh my God, this angle's horrible. Um, I usually buy her these little Stonyfields Organic Kids yogurt. Ryan really likes them for school too. They're really good for like on the go and for lunches. So I give this to her now and then just, like I said, hang out in the car. I'm not sure what we're going to do for the rest of the day. I'm going to try my best, no promises, but I'm going to try my best to vlog for the rest of the day. But every time I say that, I say, I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna vlog and then I just don't pick up the camera anymore. So I'm gonna try my very best to vlog for the rest of the day and not have to close it out on a different date because that always happens. 
I forget to vlog for the rest of the day and then the following day I have to vlog again or like just close it out so try my best to vlog once we get home how's that yogurt Maddie is it good she inhales it super fast oh and you threw it are you done with it you don't want it no more <laughs> that was so rude what's wrong okay well I guess she's done with it so I want to start doing my nails so I think I'm gonna do them now this is the kit that I told you guys about the Kiss Fake Nails. I used to just buy the pre-colored ones, like the pre-painted ones, but then I ended up just buying this. And these are pretty long, so I like to cut them because I don't like my nails to be super long. And then this was the glue that I was telling you guys about that just, I don't know, maybe I just didn't put enough glue, but that didn't work out very well for me. It came off after like five days. And I don't have any more of the pink gel one that I like on hand to show you guys. But there's one, um, it's like a pink gel, and it usually comes with the ones that are pre-colored or pre-painted. That one works really well. That will stay on my nails for like almost two weeks. But I want to paint my nails um, once I put them on. I have so much nail polish. I just don't know what color I'm going to use. Since it's fall, I'm thinking about a dark color. Are these pretty much the same. These are pretty much almost the same color. I think this one's a little bit darker. I don't know. Um, the first time I did my nails, this is the color that I painted it. It is called Camelot and it's Sally Hansen. I don't know, I think I might color it this Revlon one. What color is this? The color is called Vixen, so I don't know. I might do this color or maybe I'll do this one, the Wet n Wild One Step Gel in Stay Classy. So I don't know, guys. I'm indecisive. I'm one of these two but i'm gonna show you all the nail polishes i have i have a bunch of nail polishes this is all the nail polish i have i just keep it in this little plastic um bin but like, like i top. said i think i'm gonna go with either this color or this color but i have a ton of other nail polishes in here i bought this from dollar tree i haven't tried it out i bought some for my sister for christmas as well but i found these in dollar tree they're the kiss gel nail polishes i bought them in a few other colors and i don't know what colors i bought them but this is also a really pretty color too and i can't get the bottle open i was gonna color it my nails this color last my my nails and i was there for like an hour trying to open it and i gave up because i couldn't open it but this i think i bought not bought i got in a ipsy bag but yeah i'm gonna do my nails and then just relax for the rest of the day <laughs> Madison, what was brother doing to you? <laughs> you guys are silly. <laughs> this is like, what is going on? So it's now around five o'clock. It's almost six o'clock. It's probably like 5.40, around 5.40 and the kids are eating dinner or finishing up dinner. I usually don't cook dinner for me and Robert until he gets Hi. home. Hi. Um, but yeah, they're gonna go eat dinner. Yeah. Um, go eat dinner. Okay. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. Um, and I just wanna show you guys my Lego unicorns I made. Um, the kids are eating dinner and I'm having a little snack because I need to hold me over until Robert gets home to I cook dinner. So I'm just having some yogurt with chia seeds and granola. This yogurt is just the Oikos, Oikos, I have no clue how to say that, triple zero yogurt in, what kind is this, mixed berry. And I'm going to show you guys the, that unicorn I made. Alright, oh! right, cool. Cool. And hey guys, so it is now 7 o'clock, so I'm just going to close out the vlog here because I know I'm not going to vlog for the rest of the day. It's already 7 o'clock and I usually try to get the kids in bed by 7.30. That's when I start getting them to wind down, brushing their teeth by time stories and all that. So I just want to end the vlog here. I just finished doing my nails. I still need to clean them up. I'm not the best at painting my nails. I always suck at it and I always have to clean it up. But this time I was even extra messier because Madison kept on pulling on me. She wanted me to carry her and I was trying to rush. But that is how it looks. I ended up going with the Revlon nail polish. So I'm waiting for it to dry. It's still wet. And then after it dries, then I will clean it up because I got it all over my skin. And we will see how long these nails last because 
I used the brush on glue. I like how it applied. It's super easy um, to apply just because it has a brush. It's like basically painting your nails with a nail polish. So the application was super easy, but let's see how long they last. Hopefully they last more than five days. And if not, then I'm gonna go on a hunt and look for my regular um, pink gel glue because that one lasts me two weeks. But anyways, I am going to just close this vlog out and I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you are enjoying all of my vlogs. I have been vlogging a lot more often than what I usually vlog. Usually I only vlog maybe once a month if I'm lucky, but as of recently, I've been doing it a lot just because I want the memories to look back on and I think it's fun to vlog. So anyways, I'm always rambling on, so I'm just gonna shut up and say thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.